Hey all here, OS Reviews. Today we're taking a hands-on look at the Smart Kobe Pro. This claims to be the world's smallest 10,000 milliamp hour capacity power bank. Although the functionality isn't anything new, the fact that it is so small but still packs a pretty large size is the unique selling point. Now this is actually live on Indiegogo at the moment, and the company is actually based in Japan. It supports a maximum power output of up to 30 watts, which will be sufficient for rapidly charging most smartphones, and also certain laptops can also be charged, such as the MacBook. Although depending on your laptop, it may sometimes require a little bit more than 30 watts, so you might get some trickle charging done, but this is more meant for mobile devices, I'd say. But otherwise, again, it claims to be smaller than a credit card from the front. It can charge two devices at once. There is one full-size USB Type-A port and one Type-C port that works for both power input and output, and it also offers pass-through charging, so you're able to plug into the wall and it can still be charging your device. It supports other standards like Qualcomm Quick Charge 4, as well as Power Delivery 3.0, charging almost any device and it's using the same battery cells that is from LG that is on Tesla cars. The specs on the rear here are actually printed in Japanese, although of course like most tech these days it is still manufactured in China. Decoding some of the other specs, it weighs 183 grams. So inside here we have of course just the Smart Kobe Pro itself and other contents include a free Type-C to Type-C cable as well as a quick user guide. Now of course the power bank itself is indeed tiny here on first impressions and if we put it against something like a wallet or credit card you can see that it almost disappears behind it so it really is quite small from the front. Other everyday objects include a standard AA battery pack you can see there as well as a US quarter. You can also see looks like this next to it and I also have another 10,000 milliamp hour capacity power bank as we can see here but uh, this power bank is obviously much much larger by contrast especially ones from just a year or two ago you'll find this one to be almost half the size there is also a quick size comparison with a smartphone these days it has a six inch display so again really is quite tiny. Now the entire power bank is constructed out of a soft touch rubber material for the coating, so it does feel quite grippy and resistant to fingerprints. The top here features just the Type-C port for input and for output, and then the other side has the typical Type-A port, uh, and that is pretty much it. The side here does have a logo, and you can tap on the key here to bring up a small OLED display that will tell you the power percentage remaining very well put together and again a very clever size. Simply plug it in and you can see it will be basically charging almost immediately at rapid speed, fully charging up most smartphones in well under an hour these days. And while charging you can see the indicator here will also be continuously lit to show you how much is left and also some of the icons will be lit. There's a green icon there that means we are charging at a fast speed. And now we're charging two devices, plugging in another phone using the Type-A port now and charging both simultaneously. It is a smart charger in the sense it's not going to overheat, remains pretty cool in temperature. Once a battery reaches 100%, it will stop charging that respective port and continue charging the other. One thing I will say though is the 30 watts for the output is maximum, which means if you are also charging something using the Type-A, it will decrease the charging speed and the power from the Type-C port. Because it supports all of these standards, it's really a mobile charger that is for phones and tablets. But again, if you want to charge up laptops, it would vary from case to case. And uh, in some instances, it might be just trickle charging instead of being a full amount. So for instance, if we plug it in, we can see that it will be still technically charging slowly, but not enough for even the power indication light here to turn green, which may require at least 45 watts to drive for most uh, laptops, although the MacBook uh, is one exception where 30 watts would be enough. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Smart Kodi Pro. Again, this is just the world's smallest 10,000 milliamp hour capacity power bank. It is super compact, easy to take with you when on the road, and actually working pretty well. So if interested, you can learn more details below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Smart Kobe Pro.